Yeah, shalom, all praise be to Allah, Shemir, Allah, Shai, Allah, Shemir, 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 a great millstone who are willing to ask the truth, man. Shalom to you, Akim, out there. It's a real quick hit, man. Um, you know, fresh off the press, just got an update. Um, <clears throat> on my lunch break, <clears throat> and I just saw this come out, and it says the UK to increase defence spending to 2.5% of GDP, uh, meaning tens of billions of pounds of extra funding. All right? And it says the UK will increase defence spending to 2.5% of national income by 2030. The Prime Minister expected to announce in the hardening of military policy at a time of growing threats. It says the expected rise is less ambitious than some insiders say is needed, but it will mean tens of billions of additional pounds for the armed forces over the next six years. Rishi Sunak had previously said any extra investment only uh, would only happen when economic conditions allow the caveat looks set to be uh, removed the uk move comes at a time of escalating threats to global security posted by russia's uh, war in ukraine conflict in the middle east and an ever more assertive china the world is is less safe than it had been in decades the prime minister said speaking earlier in the day on a trip to Poland, where he also revealed a new package of weapons, ammunition, and 500 million in funds for the Ukrainian armed forces. So, um, you know, that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much it, man. So, you know, this is pretty much leading into, you know, the more draconian side of things, which we're just now about to see, okay? There's no more talking about all oh, the prophecies to come, the prophecies to come is here, man. Is here, okay? You know, they're amping it up. You know, he's they're saying the world is is not a safe place to be. You know, it's not as safe as it used to be. Things of that nature, man. And they're you know amping up the defense funds by two point five percent. Okay, so um, you know they say grow uh amid growing th threats, amid growing threats. They're talking about you know I wanted to do some shows in it, but. I haven't got round to them particular ones yet, but they're talking about um, increased, you know, there's almost going to be, what did they say? Um, is it MI5 or MI6? One of them was saying there's going to be a 100% chance of um, T attacks in the UK, in England, man, you know, coming up over the next couple of months, you know, things of that nature, man. So, um, you know, something's popping, man, something's popping. You know, and you know, they got to play both sides, essentially. But um, what that means is, for the average day person, life is going to become real restricted out here, man. Okay, you know, they're going to stop people from travelling to particular places. You know, that's in the scriptures, man. You know, I'm not going to go to the scriptures right now. I'm going to quote them in this particular video because I ain't got much longer left on the break. But I'm going to quote the scriptures, man. You know, a man shall desire to go into a city... And shall not be able, okay? You know, um, photo ID is a big thing right now. And it's ever intensifying, okay? You know, they, they're controlling, you know, what type of cars can drive down what type of roads and enter into particular areas. You know, out there in Oxford, they got the, um, they got the, uh, they got the, um, what do you call it, man? They got the fucking 15-minute um, city things. Going on Alright You know Things are happening out here man So pretty much We're in that time Where the final pieces are put in place For that martial law man You know they're talking about Upping military presence On the streets man You know So things are happening Out here man Things are happening Out here Okay So this is it man you know, I saw two articles. I was actually on the plantation yesterday. I saw two articles, yeah. When, you know, I was looking at the news on the computer. I had, like, two minutes to just, you know, browse the, the news and that. Yahoo News. And they're talking about, oh, um, you know, what rights, you know, over a million people in the UK don't have a bank account. You know, what rights the bank reserves to just shut your accounts down. You know, for what reasons will the bank shut your accounts down and... People complaining that their accounts are just being shut 
And one of the, the, I think the second reason was people having adverse views to that of the general public in society, man. So you, you got different views. They, they're shutting off your access to your funds, you know, you know, they, they, they're terminating mortgages, rent payments, people just out of the yards, homeless. Now that Rishi Sunak, he's also uh, talking about stopping benefits and universal credit after 12 months. If you ain't working, then they're going to cut your funds. So you're about to stay. They're creating the 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 um the infrastructure for all out chaos, man. OK, now you can start to see where, where the scriptures speak about, you know, people getting blasted away, you know. People just dying out here, all out anarchy because they're going to up their military presence, zero tolerance mode. They're stripping all the people of their funds and liberties, okay? Jobs are going down. Yeah, I saw now there's so many articles. It's like there's so many videos to be done, man. You know, I didn't even get around to doing this one yet. I may do another one specifically on that. But the UK unemployment rate has, has gone up again, you know? So people are just struggling out here, you know, and, and when when people got nothing to lose, they lose it, man. So we're about to see all out chaos out here, man. You know, but these are the prophecies, bro. And this is why we got to keep pushing, keep praying. Pray to the Lord, Yehovah, Shem, Yehoshai, for faith, man. More faith, more strength. Strengthen our spirits. You know, pray for one another, man. Okay, because the prophecies are definitely popping off, bro. All right, the mark of the beast is at the door, man. You know, and all hell is about to break loose. But like I said, you know, quoted a few scriptures, but I got to go back inside, you know, finish off the working day and that, man. But yeah, I just saw this come out, man. It's heavy, man. Shalom.